I'm looking at three of the graphs that were handed out by us, and this relates to the question of what if you are in the vulnerable population and how many days does it have? I look at three of them. One is, um, I'm never going to pronounce this right, but Cylindro Sperm Moltis. Is that pretty close? Okay. <laughs> and I look at that, and on between 523 and 524, it is at concentration of uh, a PP parts per billion at seven, and the adult guideline, guideline is at three. So it's hugely over. It's double and more the adult guideline. The same thing on microsystem at the northeast site on 527. Um, the concentration is almost 2.5, where the adult guideline is. Um, a little more than 1.5. The same sort of thing happens at uh, a microcystin on 524 at the North Sandy Am middle end tape where it spikes above the adult guideline. So my question is, if you were in the vulnerable population and on those particular days when the spike is well above what uh, is dangerous for a healthy adult. Could that have a greater effect upon you than drinking for 10 days along the, uh, uh, um, the vulnerable population guideline, which is much, much lower? You know, potentially, um, because it, it really doesn't account for, you know, variations in yeah. concentration like that. So I understand. When, when we received that, that, that data, you know, we reviewed it with EPA, and the question then was, well, well, we do have a spike um, that that went over the adult level, but, but then it, it goes way down. It was a short duration. Yeah. It, yeah. it only occurred in one sample and then declined quickly at those sample locations. All right, and that's so the I'm advice from that. EPA was maintain maintain the advisory for the vulnerable population. Okay. So there was concentration on one day, but there was not a duration on that time period exactly. because it immediately dropped on and went there. Exactly. Now,